Hey guys, and here's a video on uh, the new build for Wild Shape. Uh, this build is going to be using exclusively Warp Gate. And uh, so let's go ahead and show you. So uh, right now we go ahead and have it where you can uh, sit here and pick which beast. It'll show your current amount. And it'll also show you uh, which ones are available now from here. I have it set up to either go through a folder or a compendium. So you can go ahead and go into your wild shape directory here. You can load them up or you can also go into the compendium, create one and create a wild shape compendium and then drop your guys in here. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you have, just as long as you have one of these set up, you can use them both uh, together if you'd like. Uh, so after that, we just go ahead and select brown bear. Now I have it here where you can transfer items. If they're of the same size as your base size, you'll go ahead and have that as an option. However, if you choose a larger one, it will go ahead and remove the transfer size uh, because, uh, you know, I also can't account for opposable thumbs, but uh, in the uh, standard rules, it does say that your equipment can transfer over if it's possible to be equipped of the same size. Uh, so again, if they're larger, it will go ahead and take that away. Um, I've also given you a box for rolling hit dice. Now you can go ahead and select that and it will automatically uh, roll for you when it converts over. Uh, so with that, uh, and then in the inventory of features, uh, you can see uh, that the attacks are there, and then the uh, multi-attack is now on there. The spell spell effects are wiped. So right now I have this set up as a uh, Circle of Moon Druid, so uh, we've got the Wild Shape healing. Uh, and then other than that, uh, that's all that's available. Uh, from that point, uh, if the uh, Wild Shape uh, were to take damage, uh, it will go ahead and carry over. Let's go ahead and take a look at that example. Okay, and as you can see here, we've got a uh, wounded uh, Wild Shape Druid. He's only got two hit points left and we've got a Ghast. So if we target the uh, bear, and then the Ghast attacks, uh, dealing five damage. Then you can see here where he took the two points uh, because that's the hit points that he had left. Then he took the additional three uh, when he converted back, equaling out to the five. And then it also cancels the wild shape out uh, thanks to uh, Time's Up uh, via day. And all of his uh, uh, features came back. Now, as far as for comparing for Circle of the Moon, you can either use the supplied uh, subclass or you can go ahead and create your own advancement. I went ahead and put in here for the level 6 uh, doing the divide by 3 of druid levels uh, so that uh, handles that however you can go ahead and if you've already got this you can modify it yourself. The uh, standard SRD um, already comes with the advancement of the wild shape already pre-built in. Uh, if, you, if this tab is empty uh, then you need to drive it for, from your SRD and add a new version of it. As far as for Circle of the Moon support, um, you do need the features created. Um, the script will look for if you have Elemental Wild Shape, uh, Primary Strike, and the Combat Wild Shape. In addition to, it'll also support uh, Blighted Shape as well. And then along the lines, I'll go ahead and uh, when I stumble across other uh, versions of Wild Shape that need additional things. Um, with Warp Gate, it's very easy to add those on. As stated before, in your actor directory, all you need to do is create a folder that says Wild Shape, drop in some actors, as you can see here, that I've got. Or you can just simply create a compendium, much like here, and toss your actors into that point. Thank you so much for watching the video, and as always, you can grab this over at my Patreon. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, I want to th also thank my uh, patrons, uh, and uh, catch you guys in the next video.